What's up, everybody? We went over the offensive line in my last video. Now we're going to go over Tennessee's defensive line. Who we're losing, who we're bringing back, who are the new Vols in the locker room. Byron Young, what can you say, man? All SEC first team, SEC defensive lineman of the week. Player awarded at the Shrine Bowl. 24 games for the Vols with 21 starts, 83 tackles, 23 and a half tackles for loss, 12 and a half sacks, 22 QB hurries. There's no replacing Byron Young. He's going to have a great NFL career. Latrell Bumpfus. I've not heard hardly anybody give this dude credit and, and saying that we're going to miss him going into 2023. He wasn't huge on the stat sheet, made plenty of plays. If you know Coach Garner's scheme, though, he was a huge piece to the puzzle. No one's really talking about missing Buntfuss, and I don't really know why. Now, let's talk about who we're bringing back. Big O, highly touted, strong defensive tackle. He's played in 35 career games for the Vols with 18 starts. Recorded 55 tackles, 6.5 tackles for loss, 3 sacks, 1 forced fumble, 1 fumble recovery. He's very skilled at batting down balls. I look for Omari to be a stud this year, a captain and a leader. Next, we have Tyler Barron, listed at defensive end. We've seen him play quite a bit on the inside as well. 35 games with eight starts. Listen, we've seen Barron really shine in spurts for the Vols, but we need a consistency from him that he's not shown yet this year. Good numbers, 69 career tackles, seven and a half sacks. Big bad Elijah Simmons, absolute monster. Put a third number on this dude. He's so strong, imposing on the interior defensive line, super athletic for his size. He's played in 32 games with six starts, mostly due to the injury bug. I would love to see Elijah Simmons on the field making plays next season. Next returner we have is Roman Harrison, great edge rusher, earned SEC Defensive Lineman of the Week versus Vanderbilt. He's played in 46 games for the Vols. Really good at UT's Leo position. He kind of gets forgotten about every year, and then boom, he makes a play. The next returner we have is Dejon Terry. Absolute monster in the middle. Came from Kansas the season before last. Just huge, strong body in the middle. Seven starts for the Vols last year. He's recorded 35 tackles, 18 solo tackles, and three sacks in his career. He progressed as the season went on, and I'm anxious to see what he can do this year. The next returner we have is true sophomore Joshua Joseph. Young playmaker, seen action in 11 games for UT last season. Uh, Four-star prospect, ranked top 15 edge rusher in the country. Number eight player out of the state of Georgia. The next player on the list, another true sophomore, James Pierce Jr. We only seen him play in eight snaps all season last year on the defensive front. Five-star prospect out of North Carolina. Number 11 player overall in the 2022 class. Top player in the state of North Carolina. Super athletic, can move. Was on the kickoff team knocking heads last year. Next, we have Dominic Bailey. Redshirt junior. Sees most of his time at defensive end. Uh, coach Rodney Garner says he's one of the most improved players on the team. He's played in 16 games. He's recorded three solo tackles and nine assist tackles for the Vols. Next, we have Tyree West, another true sophomore. 6'3", 290. He finished the season with two tackles and a sack at Vandy. Played in 10 games as a true freshman last season. Four-star athlete across the board. Rivals tabbed him as the number seventh defensive lineman overall in the 2022 class. Next, we've got Bryson Eason from Memphis, Tennessee. He's played in 22 games for the Vols, recorded 23 tackles, five and a half tackles for loss, and one and a half sacks. This is one of them dudes that you just keep hearing that name, Bryson Eason, Bryson Eason, Bryson Eason. Let's see what he can do for the Vols next year. Next, let's get into the new Vols. Davion Hobbs, five-star, 6'3", 270 pounds, seventh overall defensive lineman, Number one player in the state of North Carolina in 2023. Huge, huge, huge recruit for the Vols. Literally everybody wanted this guy. Next, we've got Caleb Herring. 6'5", 220. Four-star across the board. Number 12 edge rusher overall in the 2023 class. Number one player out of the state of Tennessee. Also brother 
to Tennessee sophomore linebacker Elijah Herring. Next, Omar Norman Lott, redshirt junior, transfer from Arizona State. Has not played yet for the Vols. Rivals tabbed him as the 27th overall defensive tackle in the nation. 14 tackles, 3 tackles for loss, 2 sacks last season for the Arizona State Sun Devils. We're not done yet. Here's some photos of the other guys on the team. Not throwing any shade. I've only got so much time to do these videos. Isaac Green, Cameron Douglas, Joshua Hilsden, Armari McNeil, Nathan Robinson, Austin Lewis, Jason Jenkins, Kurt Garland. All right. I wish you all the best. I want to hear your name called over and over and over again. I want to see how you all do through spring practice, and I wish you all the best. Coach Rodney Garner, one of the nation's best defensive line coaches, one of the nation's best recruiters, 30-year veteran of the SEC. In 1996, he coached tight ends for Tennessee. In 1997, he coached offensive tackles. Six conference championships, 33 bowl game appearances, developed 10 All-Americans, 7 NFL first-round draft picks. I was so pumped when you come back to Rocky Top in 2021, Coach.